Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch from Moodle for Teachers and Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning. Uh, this is what a meeting registration form looks like. Okay, so you can add an image, a logo, and you can share these with your social networks. So it's really, really great. You also have the time. What I like about it is that those who receive this form will be able to also check their own time zone by clicking on time and then they can choose their time to see when the meeting is going to take place. So it's really great. They write their first name, last name, email, confirm it, and then make sure that they're not a robot. Click on register and they get reminders, which is really, really great. All right. So let me show you how I set that. Okay. You go into schedule a meeting. Okay, so you've got schedule meeting here at the top. Click on that to start your meeting. So let's do that. Now schedule a meeting. Okay, we give it a name, whatever name. I think it's a good idea to add a description, but then you can do that later on. You select a template if you've got one, and I do have one. You set the time. Is it recurring or not? Your time zone, and you can change that as you go and registration is required. Now notice all the information that's here, you can fill it in. The main part is registration is required and you save it. Now let's take a look at what that means. Registration is required means that you can share the link and people have to fill in a form. This is the form. Let's open it up so we can take a look. So right now the form is very, very basic. Okay, this is what you get, but you're gonna add an image and a logo. Notice, as I said, you can check the time zone. I think this is an amazing feature. So let's go back to the registration and set it up. You scroll down and you will see the following. This is where we are right now. Registration, email settings, branding, poll. The live streaming you can't set in advance, so we're not going to look at that. So let's take a look at registration. We've already done it. It's that email settings. Okay, you add the email contact. You can change that. It doesn't have to be the one that you have on the system. It could be somewhere else. Confirmation, email to registrant. You might want to look at that. You can edit it and make changes on your confirmation mail. The branding. The branding is where you upload your images, okay, for the logo and for the banner. And that's what I did. Notice the sizes in advance. Okay, notice the sizes. So you can prepare your image in advance so that you don't have to look around and be disappointed that it doesn't work. And that's what I did. That's exactly what I did. So let's go back to the meetings. It's really, really easy and go into my Zoom demo, the one that I created before. Go into the link and you'll see what I did. If you want to check it out here, here's my branding. Okay, you can see in advance what I did. And if you go to the actual form, let's go back to it, you'll be able to click on it and see what people will see. Okay, and that's the link that you will share with your social network. And notice you can do this on your social net network. You've got Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and you can do this by email as well. And that's it. That's how easy it is to create and schedule a Zoom meeting by registration. And don't forget the password. Now, the password you might not want to do for the registration. Enough that they register, you don't need to add a password. So if you want to edit that, you made a mistake, you want to change it. The edit is always there to the last minute. In fact, it's even there after. Because all the sessions are there even after you've given them. So um, registration is required. And the meeting password I'm going to take out. Okay, just a little thing here, a little tip that you should uh, know. Let's go back to the top profile to get to the top. Okay, notice here under meetings, we've got previous meetings and the meetings stay. And there's your meeting templates if you create them. They stay. And people can still go in even after the time. So what I usually do is I delete. I'm talking about old. Okay, I delete them so that people don't go in and wonder why the meeting is not going to take place. It's not going to say that the meeting date is outdated. All right, so this is something that you need to. Looking forward to joining your meetings on Zoom. Bye for now.